I thought we were going to have a problem there. The, uh, it kept coming up saying we're having problems starting your live video. So I won't tell fibs. I did not do this at 10 in the morning because, quite frankly, that shredder bull yesterday fucked me. I don't know if you can still see my eyes, but that was not a pleasant experience. I won't be doing it again. I don't know why I did that because I've, I've done that before. Like, I've took a shredder bull before, maybe about two years ago, and it's just, it's the instant sweat. Like, you sweat for five hours solid, even when you're no moving. So, I've given them to Tom, and nah, no more of that, no more of them for me. So, um, yeah, I just had to have a wee bit of a lie in this morning because I was up to 2am. Yeah, so, don't do drugs, even the ones you can buy online. Right, now... A wee, a wee couple of admin bits. We did a workout on Tuesday. It was glutes and calves. It was actually a really good workout. There was a lot of new moves in it. And somewhere along the lines, there's some sort of line of music that YouTube's recognised and it just keeps taking the video down. Um, I can't even seem to get that up anywhere. I've tried on the Instagram as well and it's just coming up and going, something's went wrong, something's went wrong. So... What we're going to do is we're probably going to do that same workout again next week. So if you joined in on that one on Tuesday there, we're going to run it again um, next week, which is a good a good opportunity for you to advance. I don't usually like to do the same things twice. I like to make every workout different. But in this case, because that was actually a really good workout and people might want to use it in future, we're going to go for it again. Glutes and calves next week. Now, today we are going to do... Chest, shoulders, and a wee bit of arms. So we'll get warmed up in that respect. You'll need a, I think this is all kettlebell or dumbbell. So I use oh, a six kilo, although it's feeling heavier by the week and I don't just really know how that works, but I've never felt six kilo feel so heavy. We'll get warmed up to some royalty free music so that I can post this on uh, YouTube and, um, and then we'll get started. <laughs> Royalty free music kills me, but what the fuck is that? Anyway, <laughs> roll the shoulders. Big circles. Other way. Hands together, roll. Just loosen up the wrist. Circles. Other way. Hands on the shoulders. Make big circles with your elbows. Close my eyes. And other way. Up. I want to change the angle of this. Both hands up, one back, one forward. I am counting the days. I have been walking, can't see the fire. Other way. I can't run away. Start to the surface. about when I say this so see um I don't you might have got it at school you might have just seen it in a shop but it's a wee stick it's got two strings and two balls on the end and you go like that and the balls swing around and make a noise you have the stick your arms are the strings with the balls on the end and I'm just going to let them come round and whack his don't turn your hips so we want to get a twist just in the mid body Right about the waist area. And just let the arms relax and flop. Feels really weird. <laughs> and then we're actually going to take that into some twists. So feet shoulder width apart, hands up at boob level, nipple level we'll say, and twist. 
Again, try not to turn the hips, just rotate for the waist. First round is kind of going to be warm up style things anyway, just body weight. They'll be hard, so um, don't uh, don't need your weight just now, but you'll need it for round two. Now, shoulders are in short assholes. They're a bit like knees. There's lots of joints and things running through there. Um, there's no lots of joints. There's one joint. Uh, there's lots of tendons and. Um, Lots of insertion points for muscles and stuff in there. It's a big, it's a kind of big jumble, same as a knee. So if you're feeling any pain in your shoulders, like pain that's no muscle pain, drop the weight, go for an easier version. Don't, it tends to be when you get a shoulder injury, you've got it for life if you don't get it fixed fast. So just be aware of what's going on here because we're going to do a lot of body weight stuff and a lot of that stuff we don't usually do. So even in a gym. Right, we're going to start with a regular press up, wide, a wide press up, if it's uh, too difficult, right, your initial starting point would be against the wall, make a three point, I'm just doing this against the drawers, this would be it up here, right, then to advance for that, we go knees, again three points, hands nice and wide, and then advance for that, up into your plank position, and up and down we go. Right, don't let your body waving about all over the place. If that's happening, just drop to knees. We're trying to hit the chest, so don't worry. Um, it's about the chest. Doesn't matter if your feet are on the floor or your knees are on the floor, as long as we're targeting your chest. Then we're going to go for a single. Yeah, well, we're going to go for a single side, uh, mainly push. So this is us going to be pushing through one side more than the other, ever so slightly. You want to keep your positioning, so you don't want to go lopsided. One hand's just going to be elevated on your dumbbell or on your kettlebell. We're going for the same width, and we come down just as low and push up. Same, you can do that on your knees. Then we're going to go for a bear press. So by that time, this will be quite difficult. We're going to go... Right. I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this to you when my head's still a bit mushed for shreddable. So, you're on all fours, uh -huh, and you come onto your toes, get your knees under your hips, and you're literally just going to lift your knees off the floor that much, and that's it. The higher you lift your knees, the easier it is, right? So, we want your knees just to be elevating above the floor, and we're going to press. Now, because your knees are elevated, this is going to put a lot of weight into the front, so just be aware, when you do that first one, you may go, shit, do not face plant, right? Just um, take it easy, trial it first, get a wee cushion, maybe put it under your face. I've seen that go quite down. Keep knees hover just above the floor, right? And then we're going to take that into a bicep curl with your weight, so something a wee bit easier to finish with on that round. We're only going to do 10 of each movement, but we're going to repeat it a couple of times. So let's um, let's get started on that. Safety at all times, and it doesn't feel right, ditch it. These, these music, this music shite's killing me. But if this is what it takes to, to get it to go up on YouTube, then it needs to be. Right, white push up. Arms in line with the shoulders, nice and wide. Blow yourself away, so blow away from the ground. So breathe in, going down. Breathe out, coming up. Here you go. And relax for a second. Get your weight in. We're going to go one hand elevated. Pull your strongest hand up first. Okay, I'll give you five seconds. I will go. If you need to do it on knees, that's fine. 
Get in possession. Ready? Yeah, here we go. Come on. Can he drop the knees? That's okay. Good. We're going to switch that to the other side. About 10 seconds before we go back in. Get in position. And here we go. Good. Should be feeling that in your chest, right? Should be a wee bit niggly. We're going to get you bare, bare position. So, like I said, this will be harder. Knees float just above the floor. Hands wide. Get your knees under your hips. Tuck your toes. We lift the toes off. We lift the knees off the floor. Here we go. replicate the same thing so that is the easier version of a bear push up um, you're here and the knees need to be hovering for this to work if you do that your the weight of your bum's probably pulling back so if you're going to put your knees on the floor your feet need to come off like a seesaw okay so if you're trying to make that bear push up at the end a wee bit easier make sure you keep your bum forward and you're tipping like a seesaw. Um, that is the only push-ups we're going to do. Now the reason we're doing them at the beginning, and I know some people have probably left because they've been like that, fuck that, I can't do this. Uh, the reason we're doing them at the beginning is because if we tried to do them at the end, it would be super hard. But eventually we want to be able to do them at the end. And the thing about not being able to do something, you're never going to fucking be able to do it if you don't just keep trying. So, I don't think in the last five years I've ever said, nah, I can't do that, I've tried, maybe I've not been able to do it, I've kept trying, and then I've eventually done it. So the other day I said, when you're a baby, you don't just go, I oh, fuck this walking shit, I keep falling, I can't do that. You just keep doing it until you can, otherwise you end up laying on your back the rest of your life. So, don't be laying on your back the rest of your life with stuff, because you can do anything if you do it repeatedly, you become good at it. Go for that round again and then we'll move into the next rounds. So if you need to go to knees again, that's fine. Go for regular push-ups first. Ten. It'll be easier to do them faster. So if you're struggling, just battle them out fast. If not, keep pace with me. 
Hands nice and wide, up in your plank position or on your knees. Here we go. Down, up. Five to go. Two to go. Last one. And relax. Get your weight in. We'll give 10 seconds rest. I'm going to elevate the hand that I didn't do first last time. Even things out a bit. Uh, five seconds and then we'll go right in. Same thing, do it fast if you're struggling. Just get it done. If you, if not, try and take it a bit slower. Hand on the weight. Other hand out to the side. And keep the positioning in the middle. Here we go. Okay, other side. Exact same thing. You've got about eight seconds rest. Let's go in. Ten to go. And weight to the side. We're going to get into that bare position. We've got 10 seconds to go. Well, about five now. So positioning first. Hands wide. Okay, knees under the hips. Tuck the toes. We're going to lift and just go straight into it. Here we go. And pull back, stretch your arms. Get your kettlebell or your dumbbell. Go for the bicep curls. Short range of movement. So don't bring your hands all the way down. Don't go into full flex, full stretch. You want to keep flexing the bicep. Keep your elbows locked in, keep your shoulders down, you shouldn't be up here. Come on, keep going. Elbows locked in, they're not out here. Ten to go. Five. And relax. Right. Okay. Second round. A wee bit more chest related. You need your band. Thought it was all kettlebells and dumbbells, but if you've got a band, we'll use it. If you've got light weights, like I'd say maybe three kilo. Um, if you're stronger you can obviously use fives for some of this stuff but ideally a band or three kilo. The first move we're going to do is a Palov press. We've done this before. The weight comes right out. So we're sitting up for this one. The weight comes right out in front and straight. Okay so for the sides it looks like that. Then we're going to get into a uh, pec fly, we're going to do that upright as well. So get your band around the back. Put your arms like, like you're hugging a beach ball. Chest comes up. And we make the circle. So that's what my arms look like when they're together. Squeeze in the chest, right? If you've only got dumbbells, the best thing to do is do this on the floor and it's going to get your shoulders. So do it lying down and do the same thing. Then we're going to get into single arm push so we do that on the floor so you keep your band or your, or your weight uh-huh but ideally a band for this one we're going to keep one arm straight at all times so we're pushing through that slight bend in it so that there's tension and we're going to work the other one 
and we'll keep that one straight and work that one. I've written a big long round here. Then we're going to go for, right, the tap and reach. No, no, in fact, we'll go for pull throughs because that'll be good. So you've got your dumbbell or your kettlebell. You're going to get into plank position and you're going to grab your weight and slide it across. Grab your weight, slide it across. Grab your weight, slide it across. Okay, obviously don't damage your floor. So you maybe want to put a towel under your weight if you've got a wooden floor and you're sliding it. Tea towel. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that now. And then we're just going to get into a skull crusher tricep with your weight, which we've done before, but just in case. And while folk grab their tea towels or their shorts or their t-shirts put under their weight, you're here on the floor, uh-huh. And for the skull crusher, don't let go of the weight. But the weight floats above your head and the movement comes for the elbows. Right, so see how I'm not moving my elbows back? So right here in this position, my elbows are static. They do not move, they're locked in there. And all that moves is they bend and push up. When I push up, I kind of rotate them out away from each other. Right? But the arm isn't moving in general. It is literally just a bend in your elbow. It's called a skill crusher, obviously. Because if you drop the weight, it would crush your skill. Skill. <laughs> so uh, that's how you know you're in the right position. Right? The weight should just be coming close to your head or just above it. Right? Let's get stuck into this round. So we're going to do 20 press forward. Peck fly. Build your bang. Let's do it. Okay, power off press, here we go. Three. Straight forward. Three. Ten to go. Easy. Four, three, two, one. Grab your band. Go for these pet flies. Straight in. Squeeze your chest. Stay upright. Keep squeezing. Squeeze is going to do this. Make a beach ball shape. Ten to go. Chest up, so don't keep your back in. Three, shoulders back. Good, take it to the floor. We're going to go for one arm up and one pressing. Get an arch in your back. One arm goes straight and the other arm, well, with a bend, a slight bend in it, and the other arm's going to press straight up. Breathe. Right, switching arms, that arm stays. Ten on this side. And other side, that arm stays. Come on. Other side. Thank you. 
gently your way as we drag it along the floor. And if it gets too hard being in a plank position, come to your knees, okay? But make sure your knees are far behind so you're still got a triangle set up. Right, get into your plank. And drag your weight through. Take it as far away as you can. Drag your weight through. going to try and slow that motion down as much as possible. I might switch to something that's about four kilo if I can find something in here because that's you, basically what we don't want is we want not to be tension, we want it to be hard but we don't want you to get to a point where you're probably out about here and go fuck that's agony right so again shoulder joints nasty wee things are the best of times then we're going to go for a yeah I'm going to need to grab something lighter we're going to go for a single arm rotation Which actually, if you've not got something that's about three or four kilos, you can probably use your band for. So what we'll do is, we'll use your band, you'll hook the foot. And then this is a kind of weird position. So you're going to sit down, like so, get a straight back. You want to put your elbow on your knee. I'm going to do that with a single. You want to put your elbow on your knee, right? And we're going to rotate like that. You can do that with your band or you 
can do it with something that's made about three kilos. That's going to be our final movement. Uh, so let's get stuck into the bus drivers. You can do these standing up. Today I'm going to do them sitting. What tends to happen when people stand is they go swing, right? So if we do them locked in, then either if you're standing, bend your knees. If you're seated, you, should, you shouldn't be able to really swing. Hips don't come forward, right? It's about, it's about the hands. So getting in position. And bus drivers, here we go. Up, right, left, and down. Keep breathing. Up, right, left, down. Up, right, left, down. Now we go the other way. Up, left, right, down. Up, left, right, down. Up, left, right, down. Up, left, right, down. Again. Left, right. Down. Last one. Left, right, down. Okay. Grab something that's maybe about three kilos. We start at the very top of the movement. And we're going to lower. Super slow. We're going to get ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, don't lean sideways. Four, three, two, one. Now you'll be able to feel the bits that are difficult and the bits that are easy in that. We go again, up we go. Start lowering, keep the arms straight. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, it's horrible here for me. Seven, six, five, four, getting easier. Three, two, one. Right, other side, same thing. Arm goes up, here we go. Ten, nine, keep it slow. Seven, ugh. Six, keep the shoulder away from the ear. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Again. Start lowering, keep the arms straight. Ten. Nine. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Keep the arms straight. Don't lean sideways. Two. One. Right. Shoulder ro external rotation. So get on the floor. Just like you're having a wee chill. Get your back nice and straight and your chest up. Elbow attached to your knee. And we roll it right in and up. Right in, up. Come on. Keep that arm at a right angle, so don't let it be flopping all over the place. Glue it to your knee. Five to go. Don't swing it up, bring it up. Okay, that'll be the hard part, so don't be going like this. Control it. If I can control Saul's hammer, I'm pretty sure you can control a three kilo dumbbell. Right, same thing, other side. Back up nice and straight, chest up. 
the rotation comes right in. Breathe. Don't twist your body. It's all in your shoulder. Five to go. And relax. Just give your shoulders a big roll. Take one hand across. Other side. Again, keep your shoulder away from your jaw. Hand overhead. Push it in if you need to stretch the tricep, engage your core. And same thing, other side. Again, don't let your body pop away out, engage your core. I'm going to take the hands, turn your fingers inwards, quite close to your knees to start, and if suitable, sit back. Keep your palms on the floor, get a nice big stretch up the front inside of your arm. And just wiggling side to side to move through the muscles, move through the wrists. Coming up, give him a little swirl. Right, clasp the hands at the back, pop the chest forward. You can take your hands further away, trying to get a shoulder chest, shoulder and a chest stretch. So chest up to the ceiling. Breathe. And relax. Your shoulders a wiggle. Last stretch. Hand goes just to the inside of your waist. Going to grab the elbow with the opposite hand and pull forward. So it's looking like that. You should feel the stretch all the way down the rear delt, maybe into the tricep. And other side, same thing. Hand goes just behind the waist. Take the elbow forwards. As, as far forwards as is suitable. Like your hand shouldn't be in front of your, it shouldn't be around the side. So you shouldn't be able to pull it all the way forwards, it should be slightly on your back. And just releasing that off. So, that is us, chest, shoulders, we tiny bit of arms, bit of technique on push-ups. That's us for a Thursday. I'll see you guys on Saturday, um, which I think is back, back and biceps. So yeah, see you on Saturday, thanks for joining me. This will be on my YouTube if you want to do it later on music permitting.